Hi, this is just going to be a quick demonstration of the installing the book info application and seeing what it looks like uh, inside Kali. So this is the, the standard SEO uh, book info application here. Um, here's the instructions. I'm going to be modifying the instructions a little bit because uh, I'm going to create my own namespace to add it to. So we're going to create a namespace book-info. Uh, we're going to use uh, uh, kube namespace uh, book info so we'll go to that namespace set the context and now we're going to go ahead and uh, take the normal application steps to install we change the namespace here and make sure that istio injection is enabled for the book info namespace um, and what this does is basically um, allows our sidecars to be injected. Okay, we have that. Now we can actually go in and go to the right directory to run this command and let's uh, go ahead and install this application. And let's see if everything's uh, running properly. Okay, so we have services. pods are up, our pods are up, and we have the uh, sidecars uh, running here as well because you can see uh, two of two instead of uh, one of one if we didn't have sidecars. Okay, so we know that that's uh, up and running now. Um, the next step is um, we're, we're going to want to test this inside the cluster and just make sure that we can communicate uh, uh, to this application inside the cluster. I'm going to need to run bash for this. Okay, so uh, we've got a response back uh, from the page. So this means that we have successfully installed the application and it's running inside the cluster. Um, now we need to go ahead and um, add a, a gateway so we can access it from outside the cluster. And let's go ahead and copy that. Okay, that's created. Um, now we need to actually uh, determine our, our gateway URL. And so there, this is probably the most complex part of this. Um, since we're not using an external load balancer, because we're not on a, a third party cloud, um, we'll be using node port. So uh, all we need to do is copy that. And now we have our uh, ingress port and secure ingress port uh, variable set up. Now, the only thing we need to do is uh, grab our Minikube uh, ingress host. Okay, now we can go back. So now we have those variables set up. Um, we can create a gateway URL variable uh, to access. So now, um, now let's confirm that we're uh, that this application is actually accessible from outside the cluster. So let's go ahead and copy that. And that now. And we see we have the same results. So we are getting back the title. So we are available from outside the cluster. And the next step is to create some destination rules here that we'll be using later. Okay. Uh, let's verify that these destination rules are set up and we can see that we have uh, these subsets with the labels uh, b1, b2, and b3 set up. And lastly, we want to hit the URL and make sure that everything's uh, functioning properly, which is the, the actual point of this whole thing anyway. So let's go ahead and uh, just echo out the Gateway URL. All right, we have that. I'm going to copy and paste that to the browser.
And we're just going to add the product page to that. And we see that we actually have the, the book info application. Um, so let's go ahead and refresh it a couple times and see things change. Yep, if you notice down here, now we have the, uh, the black stars on the reviews. And do it a few more times and we can see we got the red stars and we can see we have the no stars. So we're getting all three versions um, of the subsets from here. And finally, let's see what this looks like inside Kiali. Let's go ahead and make our window a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go to the Kiali console and zoom this in. We can see we have our uh, external uh, gateway here for external traffic that comes in. And we go to our product page service and application. Oh, let me throw up the legend for those that don't know. So here's all of our uh, various note shapes and stuff here. We're looking at an app graph. Um, more interesting version is the actual uh, versioned app graph, which shows us the V1, V2, and V3 versions here. Um, yeah, and we can even you know, animate. Uh, the traffic and uh, show various uh, edge labels. So like right now, we can see the traffic is 33% to V1, 33% to V2, and 33% to V3. So anyway, that's it. That's it. Um, Kali allows us to, to visualize all this traffic and, and actually see what's going on inside our uh, Istio service mesh.